Okay, lo and behold, finally, redesigned the tracker. It's very windy, I hope you can hear this okay. And as every time I uh, modify one of these to make it better, this one went completely over the top. It's been 28 changes. It's much sturdier. If you look through the two uprights here, you can probably see one of the biggest ones. This one was designed with six panels in mind. The big one, two big super struts on the arms and four across. Another thing I've done is I've increased the north-south angle inclination. This one will go 65 degrees. And like all the rest, it's all done with perfect balance. And then she'll go completely flat for the high wind. And she'll go back again. I'm going to use it there today to test a new uh, sensor that I'm about to put on. And uh, again, I'm using these new real heavy duty 36 volt uh, actuators. They're very strong. And I'm sure you can see by looking at the stand, the brackets, and the pivots all have changed. This one will ship out with uh, this top bracket. The pin will be in place. This has been shifted where this will ship together. It will fold up in here for shipping, and you'll just have to put the base to this piece by way of putting this, uh, I believe it's a three quarter inch pin. And then obviously the pole has been changed. It's uh, on the west side of the bracket as opposed to the east. And again, super easy to move and deal with. Probably got probably filming right this time. But anyway, I'm going to go in and get a, uh, a brand new sensor unit that's made. And I do have the latest 24 or 12 volt sensors available. And uh, I had to wait two days to have them made because the guy that makes them just got these. So, I'll be back in a minute. Strap on a new sensor. I also got the timelines going in the background. Hope the wind's not messing us up too bad. Alright, be back in a minute.